وعقلن يدله على التوحيد الله جيف اس عقل الله جيف اس انتلكت الله سبحانه وتعالى جيف اس ا راشنال مايند ذات وي كان ثينك ويز سبحانه وتعالى ان هي جيف اس ذس ليعرفوا به حقيقه توحيده so that we can give allah his right in ibada that we can give allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the rights that he deserves subhanahu wa ta'ala and that we do not associate partners with him subhanahu wa ta'ala with the aql that allah gave us it will show us the falsehood of associating partners with him subhanahu wa ta'ala and the quran gave al adillah al aqliya rational evidence to proving in Allah's existence to proving in Allah being the one who deserves to be worshiped and not associated partners with him subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said to us in the Quran hal min khaliqin is there a creator ghayru Allah other than Allah in surah fatir Allah says is there a creator other than Allah think about it You're a created. You are one that is created. There must be a creator. This world that we live in today, everything that we see, everything that we see, somebody created it. Somebody manufactured it. Somebody made it. There is nothing on this earth that you could say to me today, it just came. It came out of nowhere. everything the shoes that you're wearing the th- uh, the clothing that you're wearing the watch that you have on your wrist everything is made from somewhere by someone even if that thing is very small how can you then try to fathom that this universe this big and us with our sophisticated functioning mechanism allah put in us How could you believe it came out of nowhere? Or how could you believe there was no creator behind it, a designer that designed it? Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala asks us that question. Hal min khaliqin ghayrullahi? Is there a creator other than Allah Azza wa Jalla? Allah also said in another ayah, la yakhluquna shay'an. The creation do not create. So if they don't create, wa hum yukhlaqun, then they're created. This is what This is the logic. This is the rational mind Allah is talking to subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in another ayah, أَفَمَنْ يَخْلُقُ كَمَنْ لَا يَخْلُقُ أَفَلَا تَذَكَّرُونَ Is the one who creates and the one that doesn't create, are they the same? أَفَمَنْ يَخْلُقُ كَمَنْ لَا يَخْلُقُ Is the one who doesn't create and the one who does create, are they the same? And then Allah says after that, أَفَلَا تَذَكَّرُونَ Do they not have a mind to think with? So the Quran spoke to our logic it spoke to our rational mind ولذلك الله says in another ayah am khuliqu min ghayri shay'in am humul khaliqun This ayah Allah says am khuliqu wa they created Allah is saying min ghayri shay'in from nothing am humul khaliqun or are they the creators It's one of two you either came from nowhere or you created yourself or an external thing created you or external one created you you couldn't create yourself but that's that's called a logical absurdity you could not create yourself you would have to exist to create yourself am khuliqu min ghayri shay were you created from nothing nothing can it create something sam harris a very well known atheist lawrence krauss a well-known atheist rather Lawrence Krauss authored a book called something is I mean, nothing is something something across those lines we've reached a point where we define nothing as something inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi raji'un this shows logical absurdity that the quran is trying to educate us on so am khuliqu min ghayri shay'in am humul khaliqun am khalaqu as-samawat bal yuqinun Allah says subhanahu wa ta'ala in that verses. So the aql is one of the evidences to prove Allah tabarak wa ta'ala's existence. That he does exist. That he is subhanahu wa ta'ala one that has always existed. Subhanahu wa ta'ala.